All right, so now that we have set up our database, the next thing we need to do is start interacting with the database. So for this one, we're going to get all users from our database. So first things first, of course, we need to import our package. So that was my SQL, the connector. All right, control S to save. Now let's go down here. We're going to use the same get function we used on Mongo to get our SQL database users. All right, so let's copy this function. Next thing you want to do is, of course, comment this out. And I'll say this again, this is for my SQL users. If you are a Mongo user, skip this tutorial, all right? You do not need to be commenting out anything. So for my SQL, Next thing we want to do is, of course, remove everything Mongo related. So, remove all of this. Now, first things first, of course, we need to connect with a database. So, simply say my DB, and it's going to be equal to my SQL to connect. To connect. Well, what do you want to connect to? The host, which is equal to localhost. All right, and who are you? This would be root, of course. Here you pass in whatever username you created when you installed MySQL. All right, root, what is your password? My password is, which one am I using? All right. So for this one, my password would be hash, hash, uh, 537. All right. Now, with your password, what database do you want to connect to? Well, we want to connect to our POS database. Control us to save. Go down here now. And the next thing we need to do is this. With my SQL, you need to use a cursor to perform operations on your database. All right. So the next logical thing to do, of course, is get a cursor. So my cursor will be equal to my DB dot cursor. Control us to save. We have a cursor now. Let's go down here and start getting users. So we'll create a query here, call it SQL, and I'll create a space here. So SQL is going to be equal to our SQL which we want to execute. So this will be select everything from users. All right? Users is a table located in our database here called POS. Now that we have our query, we need to execute it, of course. So we'll simply say my cursor to execute. What do you want to execute? Our query here. Okay. Control us to save this. Now let's go down here and we'll simply say users is equal to my cursor dot fetch all. All right. So now we have users. All we have to do now is remove this find because this user returns a tuple of all user data on your database, all right? So now that we have all of that, we have to modify this statement. So the tuple here, just like a tuple, is indexed, all right? And since it's indexed, the first item on our table is ID. So ID is at zero. The next item is first name. First name is at one, last name two, username three, you get what where this is going. So for our first name, this will be one. For our last name, this will be two. And username will be three, password four. And finally, designation, which is five. Five. All right. Control us to save, and I believe we are done. Yep, we are done with this function. All right. So now. Let's try it out. So let's go down here, run Python 3 admin.py, and as you can see, we get the same result with our Mongo. Only here we have only the three users we have on our SQL database, which are these guys right here. All right. So I would say, oops, let's cancel that one. That is done. We're going to stop here for this one. Any questions, leave them in the questions section. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for 
the subscriptions share if you like this one like if you do i'll see you in the next